Imagine if your son or daughter was diagnosed with congenital heart disease, where you would get the diagnosis of half a heart or a condition that would require an open heart surgery at the first few days, few weeks of life. Some of you don't imagine that, some of you live that. For me, I was exposed to congenital heart disease for the first time as a student in medical school training to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. And for me, I realized how inadequate and transient our treatments were for kids with congenital heart disease. That was when I realized we need to do more and go farther with the technology that was available for us. I'm Tim Nelson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of HeartWorks. And for me, this journey started when I was able to get an NIH grant at Mayo Clinic as a fellow in cardiology. And this technology of cell-based therapy was a really exciting thing in the early 2000s. The idea of that grant was to study what causes congenital heart disease, but it grew so much more than that. Within a first year, we launched a company, Regen Theragnostics, and with that company, we went beyond the research tools and started dreaming about launching clinical trials to rebuild hearts for kids with congenital heart disease. My brother joined the team and launched the effort at Regen, and we launched the world's first clinical trials. That was all because of the Todd and Karen Wanick Family Program for Hypoplastic Left Heart at Mayo Clinic. I'm Matt Nelson, the co-founder and COO of HeartWorks and the president of Regen Theranostics. I decided to go all in with congenital heart disease in January of 2010 when we started Regen Theranostics. The biggest leap forward that I have seen at Regen is when we made the transformation to GMP manufacturing or clinical grade manufacturing. Before that, it was we made a lot of cells, we worked really hard, we, made, we worked seven days a week, but there wasn't much at stake with the cells. We had to get them to work so we could get paid, but they were only going, they weren't going into people. At the point we started making products that were going to go into humans. That was a big deal and a big change. And so now we do what's called GMP manufacturing so that the products we make can go into human beings in clinical trials. With Todd and Karen's massive investment at that time, we were able to do the unthinkable and bring the technology out of the lab and start the initial clinical trials. And then, years later, we now have launched HeartWorks. We build hearts. HeartWorks is an independent nonprofit entity that allows us to collaborate across multiple institutions and bring more patients, more partners, and more technology to bear for this challenge of congenital heart disease. Today, we have launched the world's first clinical trials and we live by five pillars at HeartWorks. We're driven by the urgency of congenital heart disease. We're undeterred by the obstacles that we know are in front of us. We're committed to a self-reliant ecosystem and we're motivated by transformative outcomes. And ultimately, we're all aligned by a shared responsibility to make this vision a reality for our patients. That's why we refer to our team as a team of teams at HeartWorks. We can't do this without you. And we invite all of you to learn more and share more so that we can do more. I'm really, really grateful for our donors that participate and contribute to what we do. There's nothing more special to me than to watch the impact that they realize when they see this team and these families working together. And the reality that we together can develop a cure is something that is incredibly motivating to these families and these donors. And there's nothing that brings me more joy and satisfaction than being able to be part of their team. So with that, I'm sure you now understand everything there is to know about HeartWorks, right? Probably not, but that's why I look forward to seeing you at our next event to learn more, where we can go deeper, we can understand why you're involved, why you're interested in this, and together, we're gonna build a better future for all.